Good afternoon, everyone. So, welcome to week seven of the course Principles of Communication System One. I am Abhishek Thakur, PMRF Scholar at IIT Hyderabad. So, today we are going to discuss some of the questions based on the week seven lecture, and we will also see some of the important concepts uh, which are useful and which is taught in the week seven. So, this video will be recorded and will be um, uploaded on YouTube as well. And the link will be shared in the PMRF portal. So, today we will see some of the important concepts based on the quantization, sampling, and uh, pulse EAM signal. So, coming to the question number one. Consider a band limited signal sampled at a rate greater than Nyquist rate. So the sampling rate is greater than Nyquist rate. So Nyquist rate is Fs is equal to 2Fn. Okay. So here the sampling rate is greater than Nyquist rate. Original signal can be reconstructed from the samples via interpolation using the so uh, this uh, original signal can be reconstructed from the sync pulse as we have studied in the lecture in the week 7 so mt is equal to summation minus infinite to infinite nts sync of FHT minus N. So, we will understand first. So for reconstruction, but MT is our original signal. So, MT is our original signal and uh, the sample signal M del T is equal to MT into summation of del of T minus NTS and N is equal to minus infinite to infinite. So, this is the impulse train. And the sampling rate is 1 by Tx. That is Fs is equal to sampling frequency is 1 by Tx. So, M del T from the above equation will be M of Nts into del of T minus Nts. N is equal to minus infinite to infinite. So, this is basically sum of impulses at n multiple of ts is scaled by m of n ts okay so now we can find also the frequency response like this but in our question we will see the reconstruction part so reconstruction can be done when the sampling rate is greater than or equal to the request rate. So this M del T first 
pass through a filter ht and here we reconstruct our signal as m delta so m delta what we have found above is given as summation of m of n multiple of ts del of p minus n ts okay so now let's suppose do convolution with sync tfs so now our mt is equal to so this filter is sync of tfs so convolution with sync fst so this will be also is equal to sync FST convolution with we will write M del T S M of N T S del of T minus N T S N is equal to minus infinite to infinite. Okay. So this will become now summation of message signal into sync. This this term is independent of small t. So we will take it out. So this will become sync of FST convolution of del T minus N T S. Okay. And N is equal to minus infinite to infinite. So again, this will become N is equal to minus infinite to infinite. M of N T S. And this will become sync FST minus N T S. So now. We all know that fs into ts is equal to 1. So mt is equal to summation of n minus infinite to infinite m and ts sync of fst minus n. Okay. So this is just a sifting of sync. FST to each NTS is scaling by M and TS. So write this point. Sifting sync FST to each NTS is scaling by M of NTS followed by sum. So how this message can be reconstructed? So the correct option is option D that is sync pulse. Just give me a second. This time is showing as 9.45. Now the correct time is showing. So moving on to the second question. Consider the sinusoidal message signal MT is equal to Cos of 2000 pi t. It is sampled using an impulse train with sampling frequency fs is equal to 1.8 kilohertz, followed by low pass filtering with an ideal low pass filter of cutoff frequency 2 kilohertz. What are the frequency of the sinusoids present in the resulting signal? So, given message signal is cos 2000 pi t, so the spectrum of this signal will be MF will be half 
डेल एफ माइनस वन के प्लस डेल ऑफ एफ प्लस वन के बिकॉज दिस इज टू पाई इन टू थाउजेंड टी सो एफ एम इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड है ओके एफ एम इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड फंड Okay, so that's why we have written one k. Now it is sampled using impulse train with sampling frequency f s is equal to one point eight kilohertz. So the sample signal has a spectrum sampled signal spectrum is equal to एफ एस समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू माइनस इनफाइनाइट टू इनफाइनाइट एफ माइनस एन ऑफ सॉरी एम ऑफ एफ माइनस एन एफ एस ओके हेन्स द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ सैंपल सिग्नल इज गिवेन एज दिस इज इक्वल टू डेल ऑफ एफ माइनस वन के Plus del of f plus one k plus del of f plus zero point eight k plus del of f plus two point eight k plus del of f minus two point eight k. These all are the spectrum of the sampled signal. Now it is passed through a low pass filter. With cut off two kilohertz, so the the components will be all the signal having the frequency component less than two kilohertz. So these are the remaining component. so only will be only 1 kilohertz component and 0.8 kilohertz component so the correct option is 1 kilohertz and 0.8 kilohertz so option c is the correct answer for this question so now we'll move on to the third question consider the signal mt is equal to sin 300 pi t so mt is given as sin of 300 pi t what is the minimum sampling frequency required for no distortion so this we can write as sin 2 pi fmt now equate this 2 pi fmt is equal to 300 pi t so pi and pi cancel t and t cancel so fm is equal to 150 hertz so minimum sampling frequency required for no distortion will be nyquist rate fs must be greater than equal to 2 of fm so fs must be greater than equal to 2 into 
So F S is greater than or equal to 300 hertz. So what is the minimum one? So F S min is equal to 300 hertz is the correct answer. So option D is the correct answer for this question. So now we will move on to the question number fourth. So consider the signal mt is equal to 15 into sine 200 pi t by t. What is the minimum sampling rate required for this signal to avoid aliasing? So we can write mt as first mt is given sine of 200 pi t by t. So we can write mt as 15 into 200 pi into sine of 200 pi t in numerator and denominator we will multiply with 200 pi so this term will be sink okay sink of 200 t so here this mt can be written as 15 into 200 pi sink of 200 t. So the message signal MT will range from minus 100 hertz to 100 hertz. Okay. So sampling frequency must be greater than 2 into FM. So it should be equal to 2 into 100 hertz there. Yeah. So Fs must be greater than equal to 200 hertz. So the Fs minimum is equal to 200 hertz will be the answer. So from the above option, option A is the correct answer for this question. So now we'll move on to the question number fifth. Consider the message signal empty with maximum frequency Fm. The minimum sampling rate required to sample this signal to avoid distortion of this spectrum is termed as Nyquist rate. Okay, so Nyquist rate is greater than or equal to 2 of FM. Let's suppose this is our signal. This is FM, this is minus F. Okay. So now if we use a low pass filter so there is a aliasing here as you can see this portion i will use some other color like green color i can use this portion is the aliasing portion but if we use the message signal like this fm minus of fm and this this is a suppose f so f is greater than or equal to 2 fm sampling frequency greater than or equal to 2 fm then there is no aliasing okay so the correct option is option B, that is the Nyquist rate. So moving to question number 6. Consider the phase modulated signal. AC cos 2 pi FCT KP AM 
sin 2 pi f m t. The modulation index of the signal is. So, phase modulation signal is given as AC cos of 2 pi FCT plus KP AM sine of 2 pi FMT. So, what is the modulation index? So, modulation index mu is a this is our modulation index. So, mu is equal to kp a. Okay. So, the correct answer for this question is option number B, that is a kp a. So, we'll move on to the next question, that is question number 7. Consider an FM signal with carrier frequency FC modulation index beta and message signal AM cos 2 pi FMT. The instantaneous frequency of the signal is MT is given as AM cos 2 pi FMT. Modulation index is beta. FC is the carrier frequency. And modulation index is beta. So the instantaneous frequency Fi is equal to Fc plus Kf am cos of 2 pi fmt. And beta will be here Kf am by FM. It imply that KFAM is equal to beta into FM. So hence instantaneous frequency is equal to FC plus beta into FM into cos of 2 pi FMT. So the option C is the correct answer for this question that is FC plus beta FM cos 2 pi FM T. So now we'll move on to the question number 8. Consider a parallel resonant LC circuit with L is equal to 1 milli Henry and the capacitance of the capacitor given as CT is equal to 50 microfarad minus 10 to the power of minus 7 into MT, where MT is the message signal which varies slowly with maximum value of MT is much much less than 1. What is the approximate, ca approximate carrier frequency of the resulting frequency modulated signal XCT? So, the parallel resonant circuit so the resonant frequency fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi l of c of t so this can be written as 1 by 2 pi l of 50 microfarad minus 10 to the power of minus 7 into m of t Okay, so this can be written as 1 by 2 pi LC naught 1 minus C. C naught is equal to 50 microfarad. So C naught is equal to 50 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay. So that is equal to 500 into 10 to the power of minus 7. So if you take C0 common, this will become 1 minus 10 to the power of minus 7 by 500 into 10 to the power of minus 7. So this will become 1 by 500 M of T. Understood? If you face any doubt, you can also ask in the YouTube comment box because this video will be uploaded on YouTube as well. So this will become 1 by 2 pi 
LC naught, let's take the denominator term in the narrow in the numerator. So this will become one minus one by five hundred. Empty now this will become my power of minus one by two. So this is nearly equal to one by two pi LC naught into one plus one by we know that formula one minus one minus minus of half into one by five hundred empty. So this is the near one minus f to the power of minus n. So this is the 1 plus nx we can write as the approximate value okay so this will become 1 by 1000 m of t so now the next term will be We are just breaking this term. So this term is FC and this term is KF. So FC is equal to 1 by 2 pi LC naught. So that is equal to 1 by 2 pi. 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 50 into 10 to the power of minus 6. So when you calculate this, you will get answer as 711.765. So the correct answer for this question is option A, that is 711.765. So moving to the question ninth, consider the masses, consider the signal MT is equal to 10 into sink of 5T. What is the minimum sampling rate required for this signal to avoid aliasing? So most of the questions are based on the aliasing parts. So we'll use Nyquist rate in all these questions. So this spectrum consists pulse of height. from minus 2.5 hertz to 2.5 hertz means the minimum sampling frequency required to distortion using conventional low pass set sampling Nyquist criterion using Nyquist criteria so this will become like this something minus 2.5 to 2.5 and this value is 2. So what is the minimum required? That is 5 hertz. So sampling frequency fs min to avoid aliasing is equal to 2 into 2.5 hertz. So that is equal to 5 hertz. Now moving to the question 10, what is the minimum sampling rate required to aliasing for the signal MT is equal to sync to the power 4 pi t. Sync x is equal to sin pi x by pi x. So MT is equal to sync to the power of 4 pi t. So the corresponding spectrum is, so the spectrum of this will be something from minus 2.5 to 2.5, okay. So a spectrum corresponding to sync to the power of 4, 5t is given. by convolution 
P of 5F convolved with P of 5F convolved with P of 5F convolved with P of 5F. Okay, so this will have bandwidth of 10 hertz. So the minimum sampling frequency fs min is equal to 2 into fm. So that is equal to 2 into 10 of hertz. So that is equal to 20 hertz. So option B is the correct answer for this question. So today we will stop here only. This video is recorded and will be uploaded in the YouTube. And also the notes of this lecture will be uploaded on the drive and the link will be shared in the NPTEL portal. Thank you everyone. You can watch this video on YouTube and if you face any difficulty, you can comment there. Thank you. We will close the lecture here. Bye -bye.